a waste basket, and a plunger. Ho ho! What's going on? <laughs> My son so graciously has allowed me to live in the same house with him. I don't want to bother him if I don't have to. And I have washed, especially undergarments, in the sink before. I don't have a tub, I have a walk-in shower. <sighs> and years ago, when our washing machine quit on us, my husband didn't do anything about it and I couldn't afford to replace a part yet. So I did all the laundry in the bathtub, like women do on, down at the river, smashing clothes on a rock. I scrubbed and everything. I tell you, that, that's a good way to work up a sweat. Be that as it may, he said, well, just to let us know, we'll do your laundry for you. But one time that I did that, it took a while. And so what did I do? I looked online. I looked on YouTube and I watched all these people that are living tiny or living in mobile homes or buses or being converted and some people have all the, the really awesome amenities you know like washing machines and everything but some people don't people are living simple without electricity sometimes what they've done is taken two big five gallon buckets the bottom one has one hole in it on the side at the bottom the top hole has a bunch of holes the top bucket has a bunch of holes and you put your clothes in there and you take this special thing that they have on a pole or you can use a plunger providing you drill holes in it it's the agitator what I have Ashley and Brian got a new set of trash things uh, that are nice and has a little foot pedal that raises the, the hood up and everything and they threw the other ones away and they were still good. Well, I took one out and I cleaned it up. I wanted to put a spigot in the bottom and I went to the hardware store and I looked and looked and looked and looked and I could not find what I was looking for. So what am I doing? I drilled a hole and I put a grommet in there. And what I will do, providing I didn't get too big of a cork, because I, I think I got too big of a cork. <laughs> the cork will fit in there, right? I'll fill it part of the way up with hot water, put some detergent in there, in the clothes, agitate it with the this thing wash clothes so let's see if we can do it well apparently this fit at the grommet at the store but the grommet in place it's too fat around so I'm trying to trim it with a knife and I cut my thumb so now I'm trying to make it thinner by sanding it down a little bit sanding rubber down I'm gonna make this work if it kills me well I can always get another cork this one's probably not going to work. Or maybe I'll find the spigot that I was looking for. I'm putting the cork in there. Okay. Now I'll take it into the shower. Start filling it with hot water and detergent. Like any good laundress, you put spot treatment on it before you will launder it. Now this, I use this cloth to wipe up some cat spit throw up you know which stains stuff kind of a reddish orange and I washed it out by hand at the time but I'm putting this laundry spray on it and next time I buy laundry spot treatment stuff I'm getting the name brand this stuff stinks terribly <coughs> Ter <coughs> terrible I don't have a dishwasher. Well, I do. It's myself, actually. This is my dish drying towel. This is my hand drying towel, which I just put a, a 
fold it over a piece of cloth and a button. And uh, be that as it may, I'm getting back to this. This is just a, a rag thing. Does it have any stains? This doesn't matter if it has stains. I use it to dry stuff that, you know, like countertops and stuff. Okay, onward to the washing. We need more water. is gonna work. Bye bye trash can. So I have a weird plunger with holes in it. Maybe I'll save it, maybe I'll pitch it as well. Maybe it can be used for some other reason. If I can't think of it, it's getting pitched. This is baloney. My shoulder hurts from just doing this. And that it's not even cotton. Polyester sweater is heavier than hell. I'm going to have to rinse them out in the sink, hang them up. Oh god, this is terrible. <laughs> well, so much for that. Now we know. Didn't work for me. Brian's always on my case about not doing this or that or not going ahead and going upward and onward. 